Environmentalists gather outside a public hearing in Denver to protest changes to a landmark environmental law. They say the changes benefit polluters. The president says the changes will help ease traffic congestion by speeding up permitting of infrastructure projects. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, taking a look at this, joins us live tonight. And, Sean, these changes do impact all of us. Yeah, Karen, this law determines which roads, reservoirs, bridges, pipelines, and water projects get built. Right now, it can take more than a decade for an environmental impact study to be complete. Under the new rules, that study would be limited to two years. The proposed changes have set off a battle between business groups and environmentalists. It's been 20 years since the federal government began studying the idea of a high-speed monorail along I-70. It has been in constant study. Nearly $100 million has been spent on studies. Miller Hudson, who's led the push for the monorail, says it's an example of why the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, needs updating. I'm a Democrat. I'm an environmentalist. But this thing has to be streamlined. The law requires federal agencies to determine the environmental impact of infrastructure projects like the I-70 reconstruction. Its environmental impact study took 13 years, in part due to multiple lawsuits. Representative Matt Soper says compliance with NEPA makes up 20 percent of the costs of infrastructure projects. It's death by a thousand cuts. The Trump administration wants to limit lawsuits and require completion of environmental impact studies in two years. To try and weaken these protections is purely a handout to corporate polluters. Environmental groups are fighting the changes that they say are meant to limit public input. What the Trump administration is trying to do is to take the public and the environment out of federal decision making and just let corporations and polluters run the show and police themselves. And I think we're seeing some scare tactics going on. Ed Mortimer with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce says the changes don't impact the law, rather the way it's implemented. We need to be environmentally sensitive, but we have to figure out a timely way to get projects through the system. We're here for to protect everyone's voices and including the voiceless, the animals that aren't here to give public testimony, the earth that is literally on fire. The Trump administration is also proposing eliminating analysis of the cumulative environmental impacts of a project or its potential impact on climate change. Even if these proposed changes are approved, they will almost certainly face a court challenge. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.